This is the post build customizations for the Master Grade Super Deformed Freedom Gundam. When customizing your Gunpla, you're going to be working with things like model glues, various types of paints, and also solvents like paint thinner or isopropyl alcohol are the two most common ones. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room because you don't want to be uh, inhaling the fumes because they could cause health issues or at the very least make you feel intoxicated. You're going to want to read any warning labels on any products that you use or do some research online to see if there's additional health uh, safety measures you need to take, such as respiratory gear or anything such like that. If you are working with isopropyl alcohol, do keep in mind that that is a wood alcohol, which can cause serious health issues, including blindness if consumed. So you want to make sure that you definitely wash your hands after any exposure to it to make sure that you don't get it in your food later on. Now that the piece has been built and everything is where together as it needs to be and Obviously taken apart some parts apart to make it easier to do the, uh, the decal application. It's time to do the water slides. Now, this kit does come with uh, stickers. And the feel of these and the way that they appear, because they're a bit more satiny and they seem to be fairly thin, these seem to be more in line with the realistic stickers than the, you know, your standard... Uh, stickers. So these are okay to go with. They'll show a little bit more, especially on certain colors like a blue. The uh, the edges really show. So if you if you want to use these and you don't want them to show as much, you'll just have to take some extra time and use an X-Acto knife to just kind of trim the edges before you put them on. But what I prefer is I much prefer working with water slide decals. And the water slide decals are a third party, which is Delphi. And if you've seen my water slide videos before, I have worked with Delphi, Delphi before. And these are very good. These are definitely one of the top two third party water slide uh, providers. And since this is a kit that expects decals, the manual has everything laid out as far as you know the mapping look the marking locations and the nice thing about this one which isn't normally the case isn't always the case the the images are in black are black and white drawings so it's much easier to see the placement and what they look like on the piece and it, because of that instead of next to the number having a representation of each decal they just point to where it needs to go, and you can see clearly where they're pointing, what the orientation of the decal is. So that's good. And there's a, there's a, the, the exceptions are there's a couple of little photo type things to show a little bit more close up detail on a couple places. It's basically just the shoulder, the top of the shoulder uh, blade here, and then a couple of things on one of the, um, the fins uh, on the backpack. But it, it is very nicely marked out, and the numbers that on here, of course, go with the, the stickers that come with it. But Delpi, when they reproduce the stickers into water slides, they mimic the numbering system. Now, it looks like Delpi has provided some additional water slides for additional detail. And it looks like some of these are more probably for some of the fins to give a little bit more, you know, edge detail and stuff like that. There are no numbers on them, so they don't correspond to anything that Bandai had expected. Whether I use these or not, we'll have to see uh, later on. I'm just going to start with the ones that mimic the, uh, the uh, Bandai expectations first. And another thing to point out is that since the Freedom uh, Gundam was produced by Zaft, but then taken 
um, and then became part of the Earth Forces, you have two choices as far as the uh, markings that go on here, as far as the identity of the mobile suit, the number, the manufacturers, all that kind of stuff. You can either, on, on the images, it looks like they're, they're showing the Earth Forces stuff, which is like ET-101, which is the number of it. But they also provide the, uh, the decals and, and the stickers to do the Zaft markings, which I'm going to do because the Zaft markings are the ones that do the classic X10A numbering, which is the true, to most people, that is the true number of the actual mobile suit, not the, the Earth Forces one. So I just wanted to point that out. So I'll be using those instead of what looks on the images here. So just so you know what's going on there, if you are wondering why the, stick, the, the decals on the model don't match what appears in the pictures. So um, another thing is that um, I realized I haven't uh, gone over certain details of what I do for the water slides. And since I haven't had a chance to do a tutorial video yet, I just wanted to quickly uh, go over. Um, I've got my Mr. Hobby, Mr. Mark. Uh, fluids here. One is the setter that goes on before, which has a little bit of adhesive. Then you put the decal on, and then once the decal is in place, then you use the Mr. Mark softener. You put that on top, and what that does is it basically melts the decal into the plastic to an extent. Um, I have my bamboo pusher. These are just the things that you can find in any drugstore or Walmart. These are the bamboo uh, cuticle pushers that you can get uh, in, you know, like the, the nail section of any, any store, essentially. I've got my scissors that are specifically designed to be used with decals, and it's very important. I know it sounds like it's uh, too specific, but what happens is these are very thin blades, and they point slightly inward so that at the very tip, they're very precise, and you need that, especially when working with the small decals, so that you can cut around them and not actually affect the other decals in the area. Um, and, you know, I've got my workspace, which is just some paper towels folded, my extra paper towels because working with water. I've got my little bowl here so that I can collect the little, you know, the pieces, the, the smaller decals as I cut them out because you're not going to really be able to go in order just because you need to wait, wait for things to dry a little bit. I've got my precision um, cotton swabs. I mostly just use this to soak up extra uh, water and fluids, which is very important, especially when working with the small ones because the small ones are so small that small drop of either the so the fluids here or water from softening the water decals can greatly affect your ability to position <laughs> the uh, the decal into place. And then I've got my water. What you need is you need warm water. Cold water will just take forever and won't work as well to soften the glue to get the decal off the backing and onto the model. And what I do is I just use a regular ceramic cup. I normally use hot tap water, put it in the cup to warm it up a little bit. I then use distilled water, and I heat the distilled water. I heat up 12 ounces of water um, in the microwave for one minute to get it up to temperature. Um, essentially, you want tap water hot, about 120, 130. Um, the reason why I use distilled water is that in my town, depending upon the time of year and how much rain we've got, we have from very mid amount of chlorine to very high amount of chlorine at times. So I've gotten used to using distilled water and I make my own distilled water anyway. So it, 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 if your tap water is fine, then just do, you know, your hottest tap water at first. And then I use the cap, uh, blah, sorry, cup warmer. And I just set it at 130. And the fact that I've heated up the water and warmed up the cup 
it keeps everything at a nice temperature in order to allow the water decals. I just have to soak them in there for, you know, six to eight seconds, depending upon, you know, the, the, the type of decal that, you know, the brand of decal I'm using or the size, you know, sometimes the ones that are just long strips will take a little bit longer for everything to soften up so you can move it off easily. So I just wanted to go over that because I, I realize it's been a while since I've gone over those again. So I will just get right on into this.
Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.